Hi, welcome along to this video on how you can run your online ballot manually. In this video, we're going to take you through what you need to do before, during and after your ballot has been run. If you usually run a ballot night at your place to play, then the manual ballot is the right option for you. The manual option allows you to run your ballot exactly in the way that you've done in the past, selecting winners and letting them know at the ballot night that they've won. The difference with the online ballot is that the online process should reduce the amount of administrative work you need to do for the ballot and we'll show you how in this video now. Before the ballot takes place, you'll need to let us know the type of ballot you're running and when you're running this ballot. Once you've logged into the members area, you'll be presented with this type of page. By hovering over the members access your area, you'll receive a drop down menu and you should select ballot administrator. Once that's selected, you'll be presented with three options. You should select the ballot option in the icons. From there then, you'll be welcomed to your Wimbledon ballot. On the right hand side, you'll see a ballot overview. Here you can see the amount of tickets that have been allocated to your place to play. By selecting the CSV, you can open this and an Excel file will appear here. Here you can see the types of courts that you've been allocated, the events dates that the courts have been allocated for, the event day, and the ticket reference. Again within the ballot overview, you'll see the eligible members who are eligible to enter the ballot at your place to play. Again, you can click on the Download Eligible Members Spreadsheet CSV and this will open up a spreadsheet of all the members who are eligible within your ballot at the moment. Again, you'll see their British Tennis membership numbers, their name, whether they're eligible, whether they've opted into the ballot, their year of birth, and their age group, whether they're adult or junior. Again, on the right-hand side, you'll see that you can manage your members What this will bring up is a full list of British Tennis members through the Place to Place self-service area. And if there's any duplicates or people who shouldn't be on that members list, you can remove them from here. If you've noticed that there's members who should be on that list who aren't currently appearing, you can invite them to join up your Place to Play. All you need to do is simply enter in their email address, Click on the submit box and we'll send an email to invite them to your place to play so they can be included in the Wimbledon ballot. From here, click on the ballots icon near the top of the screen to bring you back to the main ballot area. The next thing to take note of is the ballot deadline. You will need to allocate all your tickets before this deadline, otherwise any remaining tickets will be reallocated to eligible BTMs at your club automatically. As we're running this online ballot manually, we'll need to select a date as to when we're running our event. In this instance, I'm picking the 7th of April, and then we can click Run My Own Ballot. This will bring up a message, making sure that you've checked the list of members for duplicates or any non-members, and that you're absolutely certain that all members should be included in the ballot. Again, you do have the option to view those members, but if you're happy, tick this box. If you felt you've made any mistakes or you need to go back, you can still cancel. But if you're happy to proceed with the ballot, you can click on Start the Ballot. You'll now be brought through to the main ballot allocation page. Although you've selected the 7th of April, you are still able to change your ballot event date if necessary. You'll now be prepared to run your ballot night. However, it is important to have some documents in place before running your ballot, including the ballot rules and making sure that you have enough ballot slips printed off for your winners. To access the ballot rules, you can hover over fans and major events, selecting Wimbledon, from there you'll see an option called ballots. Scrolling down on the main ballots page, 
you'll see near the bottom right hand corner important ticketing information. This is where you'll be able to find all the rules and regulations in regards to the place to play ballot. Clicking on this will bring up full listings of ballot rules and regulations. However, if you do wish to download this, you can do so from here. It is worthwhile printing off a copy of that and displaying it at your club on ballot night. Next, we'll need to print off your ballot slips. We'll need to return to the ballot area, hovering over Members Access Your Area, and again selecting Ballot Administrator will bring you back to here. Again, selecting the Ballots icon near the top right hand side will bring you to the main ballot allocation area. You'll then see on the right hand side the option to print off your eligible members list which is always worthwhile posting on your club notice board during the ballot night so everybody's aware of exactly who is eligible for the draw. And you can also print off ballot winner's slips. It's advised that you print off enough of these ballot slips to hand out to all winners on the ballot night. Once the ballot night is over, you'll need to start allocating tickets to those successful members at your place to play. This screen shows that I've already allocated some of my tickets. Currently, I have 47 pairs of tickets yet to allocate. 62 of these pairs have already been allocated and two of those 62 pairs have now been purchased. You'll see on this list of the, the dates and courts that tickets have been allocated for, and you'll also be able to see the number of tickets that have been unallocated, allocated, and purchased. Clicking on View Add Winners will allow you to allocate those tickets to those winning members. This will bring up a member search tool. Within the Find Winner section, you can search for British Tennis member in a number of different ways at your place to play. You can search by first name. You can also search by second name. You can search by their year of birth. You can search by their BTM number. And you can also search by their membership type, adult or junior. So there are a number of different ways that you'll be able to find the member you're looking for within your British Tennis Members list. In this instance, we're going to select Marina and allocate tickets to her. By selecting Notify Winner, this will bring up a new message on screen and will tell you exactly which tickets are to be allocated to her, on which day, and the date of those tickets. You will also see a winner box giving all details of the information. Selecting the Confirm Details is Correct box will allow you to confirm the tickets. Selecting the Confirm button will then show that Marina has been notified via email and that she has 15 days with which to accept those tickets. You can then close this tool when all tickets have been allocated for that day. In accordance with ballot rules and regulations, it's only possible for one BTM member to be successful in a ballot draw. So once a member has been allocated tickets, they're no longer eligible to be offered anymore. To show this, you can see that Sergio has already purchased tickets. If we try to allocate more tickets to Sergio, we'll see that no matching eligible members are found. This is because he's no longer eligible to be offered any further tickets. In the View Add Winners area, you'll also be able to track who has purchased or declined those tickets allocated. We can see here that Swati has purchased her tickets, whereas other tickets are still pending. It's important to log into this on a regular basis as any declined tickets will be returned to the club's allocation for you to reallocate to other eligible BTMs at the club. You can also track your winners via spreadsheet on the list of winners option on the right hand side. This will give you an Excel spreadsheet of all the winners at your place to play. As you can see, this lists in detail BTM numbers, 
first and last names, year of birth, age group, the type of tickets they've been allocated, the days of tickets they've been allocated, and the current status of those tickets. Again, in terms of this particular ticket, you'll see that it has been purchased and distribution status is currently awaiting processing. You'll always be able to track exactly where a ticket is in this instance. If any tickets have been declined and you are looking to reallocate these, you can switch your manual allocation to a random allocation of tickets. What this will mean is that all tickets remaining will be randomly allocated to any eligible British tennis member at your place to play. Again, to do this, you must make sure that you've checked the box and that you're happy to run this automatic ballot. If you're struggling to sell all your tickets and there's no uptake from members, you can also return your remaining tickets to the LTA. Again, this will show a box where you will need to confirm that you wish to do this and then select return tickets. Any unallocated tickets will then be directly returned to the LTA. At the end of the allocation process, you should see that all of your ticket pairs have been allocated and ideally all of these ticket pairs purchased. If you have any further queries on running your online ballot manually, Please refer to your online ballot manual or you can contact the British Tennis Services team on 020 8487 7000.